Hello YouTube. This is my first gameplay video and I'm going to be doing something called Tech It. Um, I'm not going to be starting from scratch because I'm far too la lazy to do video editing. I will on YouTube link to skip barring parts. That's for me at the moment easier. Plus this computer is ancient. So doing video editing just does not work. So if you give me a second here, we're going to connect to the server, which is running on my dad's beastly new computer, which I really should be doing this on, but I'm not going to go hijack my dad's computer for that very purpose. Um, normally I play in Ifinity, even with Minecraft, um, and it's wonderful Quake Pro setting. Everybody I know hates it, but I love it. It's wonderful. Um, the problem with that being is this computer, as I said, is ancient, and you'll see. Uh, right now this is running at a frame rate of 60 frames per second, and you guys get 30 of those wonderful frames because of... Obviously, I don't want a file that's 3,000 gigabytes. So we're going to uh, try this out and see what happens. So let's get started. Multiplayer. We were building a ship with me and my friend. My friend is unfortunately not here at the moment and he's kind of paranoid so he probably won't be. But anyways, let's get on here. So Blue Dragon 1, 2, and 2. That is me. Um, whether it's... I don't even know if that's my name on YouTube. But either way, let's get started. So welcome to the, the middle level in this wonderful Minecraft world. As you can see, I have a quarry going out there. You can probably hear that machine running, which is actually these guys. My 12 windmills. i got two battery boxes on them so that they try to charge those. We're running low on power right now. So, they're running at full tilt and still can't keep up. Let's go on to the main floor. Oh, look at all these wonderful gadgets. Um, as you can see, there's alchemy stuff in here. There is also science. Um, industrial craft is what I believe those pipes are. They're, I have no idea if that's what they actually are from. So correct me if I'm wrong. I believe they are industrial craft. Could be build craft. I know the core is build craft, so that actually might be build craft. But either way, it works just fine with the industrial craft machinery. And my equivalent exchange. This is an alchemic transmutation table, as well as an alchemic chest with all my alchemic search material. See? Um, there is a reason why you need this, and I'll explain that when we move to another town, because I'm going to have to wonderfully try and carry all that. Because the town we're going to is way out there. Um, I have my energy condenser. Ooh, I need those. Hooked up to a energy collector and the piping from the quarry to build me stuff because stuff is awesome and I need stuff to build other stuff and vice versa. And it goes off in the world like that. So let's grab a bite to eat. And let's be on our way. Okay, so... We're moving to a new town. Uh, the reason why is because this map and location are cursed. And getting that has been a nightmare. Uh, I spent seven hours mining and came up empty-handed the first time. I didn't even know you could build an industrial one. So, needless to say, I'm a little shocked. Oh, wonderful. I wonder how well that quarry runs on only wind power. I didn't even know this thing ran out of juice. Make sure there's no creeper in there. Last time I tried to record this, there was a creeper in there. I had to turf it because my frame rate hit like 5 FPS, which is painful to watch, let alone record. Yeah, it's not getting any power. But, mind you, I should have known that because the pipe's not putting anything through. Duh. Actually, you know what? Let's turn that off and regenerate some power here. Uh, the only reason I have not completely trashed this entire building and um, 
move before I even started recording because I wanted to show you what we got. And we're going to be starting with all of this because we're going to take all the machinery and all the piping and all the wiring and all that wonderful stuff out of this billet, out of this place, and using it to start anew. So I got all my battery boxes. I got four in here, three more up there for running the building up there, but I have these four, these two, and this generator for running the quarry. And then that battery box there runs to the quarry as well. There's two more up that tunnel for building purposes. Oh, not building, sorry, power purposes. They're, they're keeping my my EU alive as it transfers, because every five of these you lose some. But I don't care. <laughs> um, I hear Buildcraft is better for their length, so I think I'm going to use Buildcraft when we move to our new town to transfer power, and then convert it to and from EU for my machinery. I don't know how that's going to work. I've only ever seen people use it. Use EU. I've never seen people play using the other one. Now, that's also because I've only ever watched like three guys play. I've never done much. Uh, I used to have piping going all the way down here. That's what that groove was cut for to go into the mine, which will go down so you can see what we're waiting for. But in here we got our chest from the quarry, and then it goes the engines, the redstone engines, power it out on a wooden pipe into a diamond pipe, and then it gets sorted as you can see. Uh, blue has nothing in it because that's the input, so who cares. All my ores go to the red pipe, my gems go to the white pipe. The white pipe goes up into the gems box, which is actually way over here. And then red is up and on the top of the macerator, that's the um, the input for the macerator. And then same with this line here, because there's actually more ores than will fit in that row. Now, are you likely to ever hit that? No, I also haven't. We're almost done this quarry, so... Then this is for my uranium. And then this is for all the useless build material, known as cobblestone, gravel... And I think... Did I even put... Did I put stone in there, too? No, but I put marble and sand in there. Right, all the wonderful stuff. Um, I have that one piece there so that we don't send ores, or non-ores down that, because it jams up the macerator, which we don't have enough power to run at the current moment, so I'm not going to. But, anyways, let's go downstairs so we can see this wonderful mess. And, yes, before we leave, I will show the crater. I was running... I'm not sure whether I was running a Mark 1 or a Mark 2. If it was a Mark 1, then that doesn't explain why I have a crater instead of a nuclear reactor to show you, but it was a Mark run that 1 that I was running a little stupidly. And as you can see, we've already actually been down to all those sections, but I don't care. We're mining away. Hey! I remember that. Wow. I picked a really big area. Huh. Oh well. So we're waiting for this to finish before we move on. So this is basically just an introductory video to get it up and see how my computer fares at recording, which I'm keeping a solid 20 frames per second when I'm standing there. Uh, not so much when I'm moving. I'm only getting about 13. Um, I'm actually using DX Tori, recommended to me by a gentleman on YouTube. Well, not really to me, but to the world in general. He uses it, and, and his recordings are wonderful. They work very, very well. There's, everything's hearable. So, I decided to try it out and see what I can do with it. So, oh, and probably saw that name. Colt92, he's the man who's helping me out. And we're going to move to a new town. So probably won't hear for a while because we got to wait for that bloody quarry to finish. And as you can tell, I'm having energy problems. 
Um, built the nuke to power everything. My and it did work. It actually powers everything quite well. Uh, the equivalent of all of these batteries, everything is actually about um, forty thousand EU short of a um, MFE unit, which I lost in the explosion, along with my three transformers, all my uranium, all my cooling cells, and ugh. And not to mention the EMC value of a nuclear reactor, which is retarded. But so hey, look, creeper. Wonder. Let's go shoot him. Just because it's fun. Just because he, he deserves to die, and I have a tower to shoot him from, which I probably will be losing. I'm actually kind of depressed to lose this house. Oh, he's gone. Oh well, zombies could substitute. Eh. Higher? Eh. Yes! Ah, he's burning. Is that a slime? Oh no, that's a creeper. Eh. I hit you. This is gonna hit the tower. Yeah, I knew it. That was a waste of arrows. Oh well. Begin anew! Or transmute some. That's always fun. So. Anyways, this is gonna be a boring video because I'm just nattering. But. So. I will record the wonderful moving. I think I'm going to use power teleport pipes to actually transfer most of our stuff there. I'm going to build the chests at both ends. Or not power teleport, sorry. Item teleport. Build the chests at both ends and go from there. Um, don't sacrifice my divining rod. I will not be impressed. What do I not need? Ah, uh, no, I pulled that from downstairs, so I want to keep that. Um, well, I don't need the advanced alloy anymore. Tin, tin, tin. Power? Yes, power. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be able to smelt all that. So, I will update you as we go. Uh, this is a very boring video, so. And, yeah. So, that's what we have. We're going to be moving it all. So, stay tuned. We're going to rip some stuff apart. I'm going to show you how to build some stuff when we get to that new town. We're going to build us a house. And I'll also explore the creeper infested. Well, actually, you know what? Let's do it now. Creepers. I'm terrified of those things, just FYI. Wonderful crater, huh? This was the location of a nuclear reactor, and it was not nearly that long. It was actually only... Hell, I think it was only like 10 blocks in or something like that. And, whoa. Now, as I said, this was a Mark One. I. I had a normal reactor with one reactor chamber on it. And I had f six control rods in it. Normally, I was running it with eight. So, I didn't really give it any cooldown room. And because I haven't started any Red Power 2 items, I've kind of... did not have a safety circuit, so to speak. I had a temperature monitor, and it clearly went over 500, but because I wasn't looking at it. Or no, I had it set to 100. I had set it ridiculously low. Right, because I was like, ah, oh, my cooling will handle it. Yeah, well, it handled it alright. Right up until it went boom. So, uh, we're already out of power. This thing is going to take forever. I might just build a nuclear reactor to speed this up. But, or start sacrificing gems for fuel and let it run all night. 
But if I do that, I'm going to disconnect it from these so that I can be macerating things and making ores. So that would be that. And I'm excited for the first attempt. And as I can see, my computer is not is not great, but I can handle it. Hey, a crafting bench. I wonder when I harvested that. Oh, yes, it will harvest um, crafted items. So if you set up your quarry over something that you'd rather not, you don't have to worry. It won't destroy it. I don't want to destroy that. Or that. I need that. Yeah, give it a couple. Give it a couple more. And more. Ah! Yeah, a couple more. One more. Yes! Okay, we're going we're gonna to leave that. I'm going to put most of the lapis in here. Keep one. I'm going to go put it in that box down there so that it'll automatically do that. Throw the gold ore in there. So, for anyone who has not played this game, this is how you change your sorting. Go in here, place one of the item in there, and now everything out of that item will go out the green side. Or I can make it go out the black side, which is what it did before because there's nothing in it. Or go in there with the ores, or up to the machine, which actually I should do, but I don't want to lose everything. As I said, we're starting anew, and I'm taking all my machinery with me. So, um, I won't get into details about that now, but I will, when I place a machine, I will explain how to make the machine for you, if you do not know. And... I'll also explain how piping works, at least to the best of my knowledge. And we're going to try something new with the build craft power. So, anyways, that would be that. I'm going to put the fuel in here. Actually, you know what? Let's do something interesting. Let's take down here. I'm probably running out of hard drive space, so I have very, very tiny hard drives. We're going to take a bat box. We're going to take a geothermal generator and some wiring. Uh, yeah, we'll just use normal wiring for now. Okay, let's do something interesting, because I bored you so far. So, as I was saying, this does not have enough power. So, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to go get my wrench, because I forgot it. Very useful tool. You will need one of those. It's made out of bronze. Um, for some reason, when you search wrench in here... Oh, it does come up. Oh, right, it came up, but here's the problem. See, it will never tell you how to make it. Oh, there. Wow, I'm dumb. Okay, it will tell you how to make it. Just make a wrench. Anyways, I had to look it up. I'm retarded. It's okay. So, let's take the generator and the bat box. Okay, now, for whatever reason, this will not power a wire. I don't know why. It is a build gra or an industrial craft machine, so it should, but for whatever reason it doesn't. Um, I'm going to... the switch I'm going to leave out. Actually, uh, we've ran out of power, as you can see, so... Take that out. Uh, we're going to take that out, too. And that. Okay. Now, the... Um, put the generator down. Okay. I'm going to... Yeah, we're going to wreck that. Ooh, need to move it anyways. Just to go on the top of that bat box. Get all my wires. Okay. Uh, this wonderful switch just disables this. So I'm actually going to run this in a form of parallel setup. So we're going to place our bat box. Use our wrench to move our input. And I'm going to place my second geothermal generator. Now, because I don't have enough fuel for both of them, I'm going to divide it. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll decide this one's special. He gets two. Okay, but as you can see, they're not connected to anything. So we have to connect them. Right now, I have the power output going to here, which is fine. That works good. But let's hook it up again. Now... I do want to connect these to the main power. However, the problem with that is they will constantly turn on and off as they fight for 
power supplies, so to speak, to all the machinery upstairs, which is really annoying when these go click on, click off, click on, click off, click on, click off, which, by the way, is handy. I wouldn't get rid of it, but it's kind of annoying. So let's connect them here through this switch. And that's because I'm too lazy to build the switch. So I'll show you how we build these two machineries. So, um, actually I can build a bat box. It's not hard. Okay, so first, to build a bat box, you'll need something called re-batteries. And this cable I'm holding, copper cabling, which I'll show you how to make as well. So, for the copper cabling, you will need one, two, three, four, five, six rubber. One, two, three wires, or copper, which isn't hard to get. It is bloody everywhere. Actually, while I'm doing that, I should probably put the power in and turn it on. Just because I need my quarry to continue, I really want to get out of this hole. So I'll put that in there, it'll load. These take about 24 to fill. There, that should be producing tons of power. Now, it won't actually charge any of those batteries at the moment because the quarry literally draws that much power and it has to charge the furthest bat box down the line, which right now is this guy and my ones for upstairs. As you can see, it's almost charging, so we're going to shut this off for a second. As you can see, there was no power. The blue line up the middle says there's power. So let's just wait till this stabilizes and starts producing power. Um, if anybody could tell me how to view the MJ power in this or in the quarry itself, that would be really handy. Because I have no idea what I'm doing here for that one. Which is my big but about using um, build craft power is I really don't know how to monitor it. So. Wow. That thing was dead. Okay, well, we're going to fix that. There we go. It's probably charging my ones upstairs. Yeah, see, look, it stole it all. So we'll leave that off for now. Come back and get it. I'm also going to turn my coal ones on. Give them a hand. So I have some coal. One, two. Um, I've been having pipe visual glitches. They'll go away when I record from the next one. But okay, that should be enough for now. Okay, so first we're going to build the bat box because it is a staple, and no matter what you are running, you are probably going to need one of these because these generators take a lot of coal to run anything. So um, sorry about that click if you heard it. That's my phone. I have it piped through. Um, that's how you'll be hearing good friend Colton, because I cannot actually run Minecraft, Skype, and obviously DX Tori, because as you can tell, my frame rate sucks. Alright, so let's build it. So we have our rubber, we have our cabling, so I'll grab the rest of it. We're also going to need some tin, four blocks to be exact. Actually, no. Sorry, you need four blocks per re-battery. We're going to need three batteries, so just set that up. Four blocks, and we're also going to need one wire for each. I'm going to move this out of the way. And then we're going to need redstone. We need two for each battery. Okay, so let us start building. So first, to build the batteries, we want to go like this. Three batteries. Uh, one, three of those. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three batteries. Three of them. Yes! Good to go. Um, if I remember correctly, I need one more thing. Oh, um, 
this really confused me. The bat box is spelt B-A-T-B-O-X. If you look at battery box, you'll get this one. Which, if I remember correctly, is a build craft box. This will not work for your generator, so you will have to convert it to make this work, which you need that energy link, which is a power whore. So, not to be confused with the bat box. Ah, right, I need wood. So as you can see, we have three re-batteries. Um, these are charged ones. You don't actually have to have charged ones. It will work without them. And then wooden planks and a wire. So let us go get the wooden planks. Wooden planks. Okay, and you'll need one, two, three, four, five for this. So let's build up, bring up my alchemy crafting table because it is amazing. So just like the diagram, I'm gonna put them in order and we now have a battery box and I'm gonna take that just because I am a bit of power horror and like those. Now to build that copper cabling though because you will need it you'll need your six rubber and basically you can just draw wire copper cabling but there is another way you can do it too and nobody showed me this but works pretty handy you can make uninsulated put it in here and then just throw the rubber in here and you can get the same six copper cables from it. So, it works really, really good. Now, I have one more thing to show you before we go at 1.15 in the morning, which is the geothermal generator. Uh, for this, you are going to definitely need a machine block, along, amongst other things. So, because I'm rather new, and don't remember. Um, this is the Mark II. You cannot craft this item. It was kind of obsoleted. It's I've never tried it. I don't even think it produces anything better than this one, but ready to go. So we need glass, two empty cells, two refined iron, and a generator. For a generator, you are going to need an iron furnace, three blocks of refined, and another re-battery. So for the iron furnace, let's build that first. So for the iron furnace, we're going to need eight iron. Oh, I picked nine. Get that back in there. Eight iron. We're going to need the four tin. But we're also going to need tin for those empty cells, which are three tin, I think. Ah, we'll just take the whole stack. Four. Right. Okay, so... And then we're going to need some glass, which is also in that chest, so we'll take the glass out. And we're going to need... Oh, I forgot to grab the refined iron while I was in there. The refined iron. And... That should be everything. Okay, so let's get started. Let's... We need our redstone. Redstone. Okay. So let's build our re-battery. To there, wire. We have our re-battery. Now we want to build an iron furnace as well, so let's take the iron ingots and build this furnace. Furnace. Okay, now we take the furnace. One, two, three, and the re-battery, and we have ourselves a generator. Now this is a basic coal generator, just like the ones downstairs, so I've theoretically showed you how to build one of those. When we get back to it, I'll remind you how to build one, because it's a very good staple machine. You need it for windmills, for example. Windmill is... Oh, no. Sorry. Me and my crazy. I don't have any iron, but you'd put iron in the corners and you get a windmill. We'll go over it again. Anyways, to build it, we need our refined iron, our glass, and our empty cells. I haven't built our empty cells yet, so we should do that. Now, we only need to build one set, because you get 16 of the things. And I actually have some of these downstairs, but we'll... It was better for you to learn how to build them. So, two empty cells. Generator. Two refined iron. And four glass. Congratulations, we have a geothermal generator. And I'm going to take that one, and you guessed it, we're going to go hook them up. Two, six battery cells. Uh, this one we're going to hook up just for the house alone. So, tin, iron, redstone, 
and this glass needs to go in here too. Uh, the reason why this is smelter output is because, as you can see, there's a pipe. It actually gets fed directly from the smelter, the electronic furnace. So, let's build the geothermal for the house only. Well, not the house. It'll still draw, but... Are we seriously out of fuel? Oh! No, I have it shut off. Yeah, I have it shut off. That's why. And this is why I didn't want to tie them together. Toggle this back and forth. It's really annoying. But okay, so let's build us our third and final geothermal. Because until we move, I'm not building another one. Um Yeah, we'll just leave it there. I'll wire it from over here. So we have our final geothermal. Place it. Now, as I said, I couldn't get the back boxes to work separately, so I'm actually going to just place it on top. This wonderful thing is actually our output. This is the only side that will output. Every side beyond that is an input, including top and bottom. But so because we're running it over there, we don't want this output coming out here. It's annoying. It gets in the way. So what we're gonna actually going to do is, once again, we're going to right-click, and then we're going to get out our wire. Put our wire up, over. Okay, now this is where it gets tricky. If I run it one more it'll connect to this. It's not good. Now, because I don't have that furnace hooked up, this is easy. I'm going to destroy it. In our new house, I'm going to experiment with something. And we're going to use a painter. The painter basically changes the color of the wiring. And, for example, red colored wire will not connect to blue colored wire. Etc, etc, etc. Um, I am going to move this over and connect it to the windmill terminal because I don't want to color cover my power lights. So connect it to that. And I can actually take none of those out because they're all important. Okay, let's make it a little more smooth though. Take that one out. Connect it. Yeah. And I'll Oh, it's not smooth at all kind of skipping that battery. No matter which way I have plugged that in. I really don't want to skip that battery. Oh, right, but these are only going to be powering for the, uh, what was it, the, um, quarry. Right, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, I am going to steal half their cells for that very purpose because this one has a very large job ahead of it. So, we have now connected our geothermal. Let's turn it on. Oh, wait. We have to build switch cable. Good thing I caught that. So, switch cable. Not incredibly hard to build. Um... I know it started with an S, so I just don't remember what it is. Seriously, you're going to give me everything with S in it? It's not as far as I want it to go. I want it to be shorter. Yes, you saw a floppy disk back there. There's um computer. Ah, splitter cable. There we go. I need Two heavily insulated cables, redstone and a lever. Here's my heavily insulated cable. We will build it. So let's actually split her, bring that up so that we don't have to look it up all the time. And I forget. Yes, I need an iron cable. So let's go build it. Um the too many items interface or whatever the hell it's called is actually kind of important. It's a good interface. So I need one of those and four of these. Now I'm going to keep the rest of them because we actually do need them. So one, two, three, four. High voltage. Now this is where that wonderful
thing comes in, and we're going to high voltage. Well, we only need two, but I might as well build the other ones. Okay. Oh, let's put our rubber back. There. Okay, now what else do we need? We need a switch and redstone. So, sorry guys, if you don't know how to make a switch, you really need an update. I'm not running all the way down there for a switch. Let's do some alchemy. Dusts. Oh, wait, we need two of those. Right. And we also need a stick. So let's grab a stick. I'm not running all downstairs, so. My wonderful toy. Get it close. I want cobble. Now I had an EMC in there, but we're going to sacrifice that to regain my EMC. And then let's craft that. There we go. Let's make our switch. And we'll use the Philosopher's Stone. If you press uh, C, it'll actually bring up a full crafting table for you. So, right there, like that. High voltage wire. Splitter cable. Uh, that will work for even... Um, even... Um, nuclear reactors. You can put that in the line and it won't blow up. So, let's go back and, I don't know, I'll put in a, the one in the basement. But we will need more redstone, because we need redstone to make our switch work. And I hate to say this, we need to get ourselves a, another piece of cobble. Cobble. I don't want to carry it. And we need one more stick, because we need an actual switch to make it work. Stick. Okay. Just as an FYI, I have never run it in the wall like this, so I don't know what to expect. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove one and place this there. Okay, now, see how it's off. This will connect, which is a good thing, but we don't want it to be connected at all times. That gets kind of annoying. So I'm actually going to build a path out of, you guessed it, redstone. Good old way. I believe you can use red power wires for this as well, but we're not going to because I'm lazy. And I have been told that you can actually switch the um, bat box. However, I have never successfully done it. Every time I've switched that bat box, it just does not work. So, test it, make sure it works. Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't work. Huh. Let's see. Yes, I have it run straight into it. Yeah, that's the difference. Okay, well, let's fix it and see what happens. I want redstone. Red, red. Um, I will need to run it over here so that we don't interfere with wires. Redstone, redstone. Switch. On. There we go. So yes, you have to run it directly in. Okay, well, let's leave it split so that it can produce us some power. Thirteen. See how fast that goes up. These things are wonderful. Okay, but we're not charging any of these. That's just the trickle from up above. And as you can see, it's getting stolen to charge this and the box up there. Um, this generator by extension will actually power the ones out there. But these ones are on and ready to cook. So, let's turn on our generator. It will never actually take enough power that the um, two geothermals will stay on, from what I've learned. Now I was charging one battery box with that, so... Oh, notice our wonderful little blue cable. I'm really excited to try and use those, especially the power teleport pipe, because I really don't like running all these wires. And I think I'm going to use an item teleport pipe too, because i got to make those to make the power, so I can teleport my items back too. Really condenses the quarry down. I was building this off of a video another gentleman did. Yes, see they 
the one powers it and the other one clicks on and off to try and keep up with it. Now, I'm not sure why this one's on, because this one takes a constant loss, and then the, this battery box tries to charge it, and then this one turns on and off because this box never actually loses power. Uh, if I was to shut one of these off, it would lose power, and then there you go. How far are we? See, we're almost charged. And you also notice when it charges, reaches the end, shuts off. Wonderful thing. These will just burn the coal until there's nothing left. Like, even though there's nothing connected to this, they'll burn it anyways. And now, not to waste the energy, because I need it. There. And the reason I didn't have this connected like that before is because it'll actually shut one of these off. There. We're gaining a little bit of power. It's probably draining this. Nope. Still going up. That's good. It says these guys have enough power to do it. But, let's connect it. Yes. Electricity. Oh, now look at that. Look how fast it's going up. Let's check out this box. Oh yeah, look at that. Geothermal, man. Geothermal. Okay, it's not even running anywhere. It got powered from other places, so it's not running. It's just letting its power bleed off. Okay. 100% of this power is coming from the geothermal and the furnace and the ones upstairs. Look at that. I think maybe I won't run nuclear power. We're going to find some magma. And I'm going to run ten of these. And then we'll run nuclear later just because I'm an idiot. So there you go, first video, we built something. This will probably take 10 billion hours to upload to YouTube. But I am off to bed. Do we have any more? Yes, we do. The energy collector is seriously wonderful. Like, I mean, look. It's kind of pathetic. Trust me, it works. It has given me more lava cells in the past three hours than that one upstairs. Now, this is out of fuel, so... These two are running low. As I said, it's a power hungry beast. So, hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you soon. We're going to tear this place apart. Have fun.